you're scrolling through Instagram and you see the most beautiful, most amazing costume you've ever seen and you think, I need that in my life. I want that on my body. I want it in my size. I wonder, does that cosplayer or costumer do commissions? G'day everyone. Welcome back to another Catch Up with Kiralee. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kiralee. Please subscribe if you like this. Today's topic is all about commissions in the costuming and cosplay world. It's an interesting one. Myself, like a lot of other cosplayers and costumers, have been approached by other people, usually people we're, we're not associated with, and they have asked us, can you make that costume for us? Or I've got this idea for a costume, can you make that for me? Or, or even straight up, do you do commissions? And as flattering as it is for myself and for a lot of other costumers and cosplayers out there, the answer is generally no. There are some reasons why we say no. And that's not all of us. A lot of us do this as our full-time job and they live on taking commissions. So please do ask. But for us who say no, there are two main reasons why we say no. The first one is that it's a hobby and the second is the cost. Let's break those down. So first and foremost, let's start off with it's a hobby. A hobby is defined as a regular activity that is done in one's leisure time for pleasure. So for me, I work a full-time job and I have regular adult responsibilities on top of that. So my leisure time is actually very, very small. And in that leisure time, I like to do something that I'm passionate about and I like to look at it as an artistic expression. I love the creativity that goes into making a costume. I love the freedom that I have. I love the fact that I can experiment, I can fail, I can work on fit, I can try new techniques and really the only deadline deadlines are ones that I self-impose. And yeah, I do like wearing something pretty or cool at the end of it all. With commissions, however, you are taking someone else's money, which means that there is a deadline which you can't put out there necessarily. You also cannot fail. You can't experiment as much. You have to make sure that you get the fit correct, which is added stress because maybe your client lives on the other side of the world to you. And also you need to make sure that your finishings are top notch because anything less means you might get an unhappy customer. It's just so much stress. And I just, I, I personally don't need that in my leisure time. I have enough stress to deal with being a functioning adult and having a full-time job. Plus, I can't wear it. And that is something that I really, really look forward to doing at the end of the process is putting it on my body, looking in the mirror and going, yeah, that's what I was working on. And sure, there are going to be people who say, yeah, but you could make money doing what you love. Well, I don't want what I love to become something that causes me stress. I want it to be something that I love and have fun with. If I want to make money, that's why I have my full-time job. All right, now for the real kicker, the second point, the cost. This is probably the main reason and why I don't even do the calculations for someone of how much something would cost me to make because it's going to be usually way outside of their budget. Take Ariel's redesigned dress. How much would you pay? Have a little bit of think about it, type it in the comments and post it now. It's okay, I'll wait. Still waiting, it's fine. Done? Okay. So I put this to my Instagram followers and they were very, very interesting. It was a range of different answers. I had everything from $50 right through to about one and a half, two thousand dollars $2,000. And that was quite a large range. The kind of medium amount that people were saying, this is what I think, it would be was around about somewhere between 200 and 500 dollars well as some of you may know i have made the aerial redesign dress and i worked out my costings for it so i took the mindset of if i was the person commissioning myself to make it how much would 
I charge myself. Did that make sense? I hope it made sense. You know what I mean. So like I have all my numbers here and let me just put it this way. Materials alone. Okay. And I am talking seven meters of polyester gipioni, six meters of sparkle net, six meters of organza, a total of 10 meters of boning, eight meters of twill tape, two packets of bias binding, elastic, zips, press studs, earring clips, brooch base, foam clay, mold, paint and sparkles, two wigs because you know they were combined, rhinestones, threads, piping, a shoe base and E6000 glue. All of that together, when I figured it all out and it took me about two hours of research to find all the places that sold, sold all these things, was $364 purely on materials. Because the thing is, is that I am not a large company. I can't go and buy uh, like an entire roll of fabric, you know, with, with 50 to 100 meters on it. I can only buy as I need it, but I also can't necessarily buy the fabric when it's being commissioned uh, when it's on sale, right? I have to be able to rely on the seller selling it no matter what time of year it is or whether or not there's a sale going on. But that's not the main part of the cost. The main cost is the labor, which is true for most jobs, I believe. The thing is, is that in Australia, the current minimum wage is $19.49 per hour. Now for Ariel, I didn't actually keep a log of my hours on that one. I just was kind of making it as I was going along. But based on how much went into that, plus also using my kind of metrics for other costumes that I've made, where I've kept a tally of how many hours I, I spent on it, it was somewhere between 60 and 100 hours of work. Let's take the most conservative of that and say that it was 60 hours. Now keep in mind that I made the crinoline, the petticoat, the you know underskirt, the overskirt, the jewelry, the wig and all of that. Okay, let's just say that it was 60 hours and I honestly think it was more than that, but 60 hours. 60 times $19.49 is $1,169.40. Add in the material costs of $364 and you have a grand total of $1,533.40. So for the few people who were talking about over $1,000 up to $2,000 in the Instagram poll, which was only around about three to four people, they were right. Because I'm sorry, I am not going to be charging $10 an hour or less for me to make someone else a costume. I just, I, I wouldn't do that. And see, here's the thing. You can get those costumes cheaper from sites like AliExpress and eBay. And in the case of Disney princesses, absolutely Angel Secrets. On Angel Secrets, this dress was being sold between $210 and $275. Huge difference. On Etsy, I found this version of the dress being sold for $170 to about $230. On AliExpress, I saw it being sold for $140 to $180. There was also one listing on AliExpress that was for $78. But here's the thing, with price comes quality, or at least it should be. So that $78 dress, well, that quality, I can tell right now, is interesting you get what you pay for is what i'm going to say there so when you are looking at either asking for a commission or maybe you know taking on a commission think about the valuation equation that is value equals benefit minus cost so what that means is that as long as your benefit outweighs the cost it will be of value to that person so my final thoughts on this topic if you are looking at getting something commissioned and you want something that fits you perfectly, looks amazing and you feel great wearing, expect to pay for it. And if you are yourself thinking about opening up commissions, do not undervalue yourself. Your time is worth being paid for and you have to take into consideration the material costs. 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you take commissions or you have taken commissions in the past, please in the comments, tell us about your experience. And if you are someone who, you know, reaches out to other people to have commissions done for them, please tell us your experience as well. I'm interested to have this kind of group discussion here. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please make sure you like it and hit subscribe. And hey, if you wanna support me more, I've got a Patreon now. Check it out. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.